Bible verses about complaining, part 3. Exodus 16, 7 And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your grumbling against the Lord. For what are we that you grumble against us? Numbers 11, 1 through 35. And the people complained in the hearing of the Lord about their misfortunes. And when the Lord heard it, his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed some outlying parts of the camp. Then the people cried out to Moses, and Moses prayed to the Lord. And the fire died down. So the name of that place was called Teberah, because the fire of the Lord burned among them. Now the rabble that was among them had a strong craving, and the people of Israel also wept again and said, Oh, that we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt that cost nothing, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. 1 Timothy 2, 8 I desire then that in every place the men should pray, lifting holy hands without anger or quarreling. Numbers 14, 27 How long shall this wicked congregation grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the people of Israel, which they grumble against me. Proverbs 19, 3 When a man's folly brings his way to ruin, his heart rages against the Lord. Romans 15, 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Philippians 4, 11. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-18 Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Exodus 15, 22. Then Moses made Israel set out from the Red Sea, and they went into the wilderness of Shur. They went three days in the wilderness and found no water. John 6, 61. But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this, said to them, Do you take offense at this? Romans 1, 21. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him. But they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Dear Jesus, we thank you, Father God, for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us to not complain, but be thankful for all that we have. We begin with thanking you, God, for all that you have done for us. Allow us to remember your good works and to trust in you. We love you, Jesus, and it's in your mighty name we pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We post videos Monday through Saturday. You can also find us on Instagram at livingtruthco. Thank you for the support. God bless you.